All right, y'all. So we're gonna figure this one time one equals two or one time one um, equals thing out together. And I'm, I'm being serious. I'm being dead ass. So I'm coming to y'all because it's confusing me a little bit. It's like I get it, but then I can see where um, I can see where Terrence is coming from. You see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna I'm 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 show y'all. I'm gonna break it down to y'all how how I'm seeing it. You see what I'm saying? And and why it makes sense, but it don't make sense, right? So from the concept of one time one equals one with the base of the first number being basically zero having no value i can understand that one times one equal one because if i'm silent you see what i'm saying and i'm counting by ones and i'm like how many times do i got to say one to get to one i only have to say one one time if i'm silent and i have to say okay how many times if i'm counting by ones and i'm trying to get to two how many times do i have to say one to get to two i have to say one two times to get to two now that's starting with the base being zero essentially meaning that the one has no value and this is what terence is saying how does the one the first number the first one have no value because one times one equals one right but he's saying if that one has value and that's where he's going about with the um cause and effect um every action gets a reaction thing because it's where did that one come from the, the one that you're multiplying because the one is supposed to be multiplying itself by however many times the second number is saying multiply itself so if it's five times one then it's the five is multiplying itself one time giving five right which sounds like the five was a zero essentially because it didn't do anything if, if it multiplied itself and we're going by the definition of multiplication which is supposed to be to um to raise up do you know what i mean for the number to go up then the five wouldn't have multiplied itself so this is what i'm getting at this is what i'm getting at okay so nothing on the table is zero right so if i have one item right and i multiply it one time meaning replicate it basically make another one of it right then i would have one one time which would give me two, right? Because the initial one is there. Otherwise, wouldn't that be zero times one is zero? Because it was nothing there. I multiplied it one time, nothing happened. Now, if I have one, which would be essentially giving this one value, saying that I have one item of something, right? Giving it value, and I need to multiply it basically replicate it you see what i'm saying one time so if i have one and i need to multiply that one one time or two times or three times doesn't this one have value or is the or is the base always zero in multiplication you know what i mean because it, it gets it even it gets a little even weirder with the with the two plus two equal four two times equal two times two equal four but nothing else do that but zero one time one is one one plus one is two three plus three is six three times three is nine only the twos do that it's something this is what i'm getting at it's something going on with these numbers all right i don't know if bro is correct but this shit is something going on all right and we need to get it we need to get into it because the one the one not having no value in the equation one times one seems like it's either irrelevant or redundant whatever word is like a kind of oxymoron word you know that what is the whole point of the one multiplication if the one value is zero essentially because it does nothing if the one if the, if, if, if i if i got one item and i multiply it one time you see what i'm saying and it equals one it didn't increase and this is what bruh's getting at is that how didn't it increase? Like, something's going on. Something's going on here. You know what I mean? I need your help. I need your help. What's going on? Y'all help me break this down. You see what I'm saying? Is the one in the one times one, meaning that the first number has no value, so it's essentially zero? Or does it have value, meaning it's two? 